Texas, early voting turnout remains unprecedented for midterm elections. The San Antonio Fire Union airs an ad making false claims. And Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf calls transportation a top priority. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Monday, October 29th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. After one week of early voting, the turnout rate in this year's midterm elections remains unprecedented throughout the Lone Star State, including in Bear County. More Bear County voters cast ballots last week than in the entire early voting period of the last two midterm elections, with more than 218,000 voters heading to the polls, a turnout rate of 19.9 percent according to the county's elections department. Those numbers align more closely with recent presidential elections than any midterms since 2000. And while the turnout rate after one week of early voting in 2014 was 8.67 percent, it took Bear County only three days to surpass those numbers this year. In Bear County, more than 24,000 voters have also sent in mail ballots, bringing the total turnout rate after one week to above 22 percent. And those trend-breaking numbers are mirrored statewide with turnout among Texas's 15 largest counties at 22.66% as of Saturday, figures already higher than the total early vote turnout of any other midterm since 2000, with another week of voting still to go. In the midst of a heated battle to push its three controversial city charter amendments across the finish line, recently the San Antonio Professional Firefighters Association began airing a 30-second TV ad that claims City Hall increased taxes annually over the past six years. But San Antonio's Director of Government and Public Affairs says the ad is blatantly wrong, noting that the city has not raised the property tax rate in 25 years, including the entirety of city manager Cheryl Scully's 12-year tenure. And in fact, she has recommended and the city council approved reducing the tax rate four times. But while tax rates have not increased, in recent years, many San Antonio tax bills have gone up as property values have risen, though the city has no control over valuations set by the Bear Central Appraisal District. And 80% of property tax revenue goes to entities other than the city of San Antonio, such as Bear County and Health and College Districts. Voters began casting ballots on the measures a week ago in early voting, which ends November 2nd, and Election Day is November 6th. Proposition A would make it easier to use referendums to challenge council decisions, including on tax and utility rates. Proposition B would cap the salary of future city managers and impose a term limit. And Proposition C would give the firefighters union unilateral power to decide when contract negotiations would be taken to binding arbitration. And Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf is heralding his court's efforts to reform the criminal justice system, while also challenging the county's public transit agency to expand options in the nation's seventh largest city. During his annual State of the County speech to about 500 people at the Grand Hyatt Hotel, Friday, Wolf stressed the need to connect the county's various urban centers and create an entrepreneurial city, noting that as the county's population continues to balloon, transportation is the top priority. About 2 million people live in Bear County, and officials expect another million will be added over the next 20 years. And that's your daily San Antonio Express News Briefing for Monday, October 29th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.